Alright guys, so I've already logged on. Uh, today we'll be adopting a Webkins on my brother's account. So I'm on my brother's account and I have his permission. It is the first time in six and a half years. This is his most recent pet. So the first time in six and a half years, I'm adopting a purely virtual pet. I have his permission because he stopped Webkins a long time ago. So he said I could have his account and I could do whatever I wanted with it. So I realized that since today's Webkins Day and he has these Easter points from over six years ago, probably from seven, seven years ago, I don't know, but he has these Easter points and since it's Webkins Day, there's a deluxe preview and there's also a sale in the W shop and they sell pets in the W shop now. So I've already chosen which pets I'm going to adopt. Um, then after this i will show you the ones that i deliberated on i'm just kind of in a hurry right now because as you can see it's 11:48, so i have to adopt two pets in 12 minutes yes two pets now the reason that this is happening is because since we have the deluxe and the um the deluxe preview which gives you a discount on everything. And since it's Webkins Day, which means a bunch of pets are discounted, then I'm getting the deluxe discount on the discount, which means there are select pets on sale for 5,000. I know that kind of looks like 6,000, but it's 5,000. So I've chosen two to adopt, and you get to watch that process. All right, so the first one is the Bubblegum Mammoth. For 5,000 Easter points yes and the reason I'm doing it right now is because I don't know when I'm going to get another chance to do this um, because you know the discount so the discount lasts beyond today but the deluxe doesn't and the deluxe gives me that discount on a discount so I've already decided I'm going to name him Chewy so we have Chewy the bubblegum mammoth a boy for 5,000. All right, and again, this is my brother's account. So here we go, we have Chewy. Oh my word, he looks so cool. Oh, that's annoying. Yeah, yeah. I need to get through two pets and then we can do this, okay? All right. Oh, oh my goodness. He's so cute. Oh my goodness. I only have a few select virtual only pets, so the fact that I can get two of them today is actually pretty awesome. All right. So he's asking to get dressed before I can do anything. All right. So you're going to have a black t shirt. No, oh, look at those feet. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but we're just gonna give him some a black shirt. Uh, I do not like how that looks. So, you know, for now that's good. Now we have another pet to get through. All right, so welcome home, Chewy. That's actually a cool. How in the world has my brother gotten the Persian wallpaper? And why didn't he send it to me? I've been trying to collect that for years. Like, back when Webkins was, like, my thing. Okay, okay. Anyway, so I'm going to go to the new and promo section again. The other pet that I have selected is the Thunderbird. Guys, I've wanted this pet ever since it came out in, like, 2009 or 2010. Honestly, let's see when it came out. I really don't have time to be doing this. And it's not loading. Great. Um, Thunderbird. And, and it was like this really like... I don't know, yeah, April 2010, I don't know if it was available in the e-store back then, but it was like this, this special thing that like, I don't know, I felt like everyone wanted it, and it was online only, and it was like, 
I'd never be able to have one. It was available for contests and stuff. And now I have the chance to actually adopt one. And now I was actually hesitant to adopt one on this account because, you know, since I've wanted one for so long, then I kind of wanted it on my own account. But, you know, I have the points on my brother's account because he never used them after so many years. Also, the Golden Eagle is pretty cool. But I said it'd be getting to that later. Alright, so the Thunderbird, 5,000. Yes. And uh, he's also going to be a boy, and I decided I would name him Shock. Shockwave. Let's call him Shock. Ooh, Shock or Shockwave. Also, the little pet request thing, he's so annoying. I have an agenda right now. Anyway, congratulations, Caspian6. Obviously, my brother's account. On your adoption of Shock, a boy Thunderbird on April 29th, 2020, which is Weapons Day. I can't believe that I have a Thunderbird after so many years. Even though it's kind of my brother's, but like, this is. It's his account, but like he gave his, he said, I don't care what you do with my account, you can have my account. And I told him what I was planning. I said, I'm going to, oh, that's cute. Anyway, I told him that I was going to adopt a pet. And back when I said that, I was expecting only to adopt one pet. Um, So I was expecting to just adopt one pet because, you know, it wasn't Webkin's Day and usually the pets, like, cost 10000 at the minimum unless they're on sale. So I didn't expect that I'd be getting two. Um, yeah. Yeah, and I definitely didn't expect to be getting the Thunderbird because without a sale, it's more than the 10000 So I just never... Saw this coming, I guess. Anyway, it's pretty cool. So, now I told you that I would go through and I would show you the other ones that I considered because obviously you didn't get to see my deliberation process. That's honestly because, well, once it turns midnight, I lose that deluxe privilege and I wouldn't have been able to get either of them. So, or I, I think I would have been able to get one. But anyway, oh my goodness, a Thunderbird. You guys don't even know how long. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, so the first Webkin's in six and a half years. Um, all right, so the other ones, and they're only, they're available in the W shop now, which is something, I don't remember that happening when... You know, I was really into Webkins because, like, some background information is that I was super, 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 like, into Webkins from, well, from when I got my first one in first grade up through sixth, and then I was waning in seventh, and seventh is the last year that I really did Webkins, and then I took this, like, long break until I just decided to adopt this pet that I'd never adopted. Like, I'd bought it, like, four years earlier. Um... So I bought it in like 24, uh, sorry, 2016, but never adopted it. And so last fall in 2019, I finally adopted him. Um, and then, you know, during this month, I've done some poking around. That's how I found out, oh, my brother never had used his Easter points. And yeah, well, he has now. I've used them for him. Now he has two new pets and a full membership, and I, you bet I'm going to send myself gifts from this account. I don't really know what I'm going to do after this, because I really can't see myself keeping up at this pace. Also, that's the little pet request thing I was talking about. It's kind of annoying. Let's see how much time I've left on this recording. Alright, I have about five minutes. Alright, so, oh, sorry Shock, you're just going to have to wait. Alright, 
Well, so I wasn't even anticipating for them to be any pet specials. So basically, any of these, you see like the list price here. So any of them that are above 10000 I couldn't have adopted. Um, so including the Thunderbird Thunderbird and the Bubblegum Mammoth, I, those ones were locked to me. And I thought that I'd just be getting one of these 10,000 point ones. Uh, because, you know, I had 10,000 and I didn't know I'd be getting the deluxe thing either so when i realized that on webkins day they have this like huge sale it's like oh my goodness this is my chance anyway so the other ones that i considered after knowing that there is going to be a discount um which was just today actually were the golden eagle um and that would have been a fitting choice for my brother because he was super into birds of prey um back when he was growing up um, the moon fox is pretty cool. Uh, the sunflower lion I looked at, I would have named it chia, like chia seeds, but like, chia seeds are not sunflower seeds. They're very different, so, I don't know. Anyway, that one's cute. This one looks like a girl, like a human girl. It's kind of weird. Um, let's see... Like, all of these would be cool, but some of them I, like, really considered. Um, so the White Cosmic Bear. I definitely considered the Squirrel Monkey. And I, the reason that, you know, I opted against it is because it's 6000 with the discount. And that means that I wouldn't have been able to get the Thunderbird and the Bubblegum. Well, I wouldn't have been able to get either of them with this. I would have been able to get one for 4000 with it. So those ones, all right, and so in pets, guys, this is where, like, I got excited because I realized that with my deluxe discount, I could get any pet, and that's even before I realized that there were promos because with the pro with the, um, with the pets on sale, so I was able to get two, but even if they hadn't been on sale with the deluxe, I could still have gotten any one, well, most any one of these that normally cost 12500 because with the little deluxe discount, they'd only be 10000 So I could have gotten just that one. So anyway, the ones that I considered here, without further ado, uh, actually the Alley Cat. Um, and the reason is because my brother actually had a plush Alley Cat at one point. It wasn't technically his. It was part of this, like, Webkins exchange thing we did with our neighbors. Um, so we ended up having to give it back, but we did have Big Alley Cat in our house at one point in time that we never adopted because our neighbors had adopted it. Her name was Heather, and so I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to have an online version of Heather? Anyway, so Heather, and then there are these birthstone dogs, and that that's not a, that's Aquarius, but the birthstone dogs, and then the, uh, what's it called, the Zodiac Pets, so cool. Oh my goodness. If it hadn't been for the sales, I probably would have ended up with one of those. Um, the Axolotl, you know, a good name for that would have been Axel. Like Axel from the middle. This looks weird. I don't know. The weirdness kind of grew on me though. Uh, let's see. The Cactus Cat, because it's, it's brand new and it's like been real hyped up. Anyway. I thought, wouldn't it be cool if I got one of these deluxe exclusive pets? Because because I have that <clears throat> deluxe preview, I would have had access. Um, Honeybee looks weird, but I don't know. They grew on me too. Um, the Charming Rat. The Cheshire Cat. This is one that I like. Um, it's not an online only, but it does look quite cool. I like that one. That one's cute. Oh, so they have a dandelion. Oh, dandelion. Oh my word. That's funny. Um, this one I would have named Brendan after the um singer in the killers. I'm running out of time, so I'm just gonna show you my top ones. If I can find it. Uh, oh my goodness. Phoenix was definitely one I considered. Alright, and the page isn't loading, 
Oh, it is. So I'm just going to tell you. Okay, so I think the last recording cut off while I was talking because I was cutting it really close. Um, so I started a new recording just so I can finish what I was saying. Um, and also, uh, just so that I can explain more about this video that I wasn't able to do because I was talking so quickly. So I think the last thing I was saying is that I is that I considered getting, getting the Virgo, Virgo horse. And it's because I have wanted this since it came out. I loved this thing. I wished I was a Virgo because I wanted it. And I decided that I would name him Virgil. So I had been wanting Virgil for forever. And... Uh, with the deluxe discount, I had enough for him. Uh, but obviously, you saw the pets I did adopt, so. Um, Alright, so where were we? I think that I was back on... I know I accidentally called the griffin a phoenix, because they look so similar. Anyway. I am actually a Libra, but I was disappointed by the Libra I never really wanted this pet. I wanted to be a Virgo because of the Virgo horse. Um, anyway. I think that's a cool pet. Apparently it has a plush. I just don't remember there ever being a plush of this. That looks cool. Oh, and this deer, the uh, elk, sorry. The noble elk looks cool as well. Um, let's see. I considered the owlet, because that's actually pretty cute. Um, so there's the actual phoenix. Considered the pineapple turtle once I realized that I'd have this discount. Um, because, oh my goodness, look at that. That's so cute. And I'm sure that shell is cute as well. The shell probably looks like a pineapple. Um, let's see. I honestly thought that this looks weird. It's like the new design. It, like, it looks different than the old design. Like, you look at just, like, this theme versus that. They look different. Uh, the pterodactyl. Classic. Um, very cool. Okay. Uh. No. Um. And those are all the rockers. Oh, there are a few that aren't. That looks kind of cool. Um. I actually considered getting this Scribbles Pop. I would have named her Crayola. I thought that was a cute name. I just think that this is like the one of the only pattern puppies that I actually liked. Um, because I think that has a really cute pattern, and, like, this online avatar just looks awesome. Uh, the plush did as well, I just can't see myself really getting that many more plushes at this point, because it, it's been so long, you know. Maybe if, like, there's a good deal on webkins, that'd be cool, you know, for nostalgia's sake. Because, let's just say I've gotten way too excited about this, about adopting the Thunderbird and the Boga Mammoth, but, yeah. Uh, this one, because, mainly because it was that deluxe only. I think that one is probably new since I stopped playing. Uh, I like that. That's cute. Uh, that is as well. And the, these two, the Tinker Cat and Tinker Pup, are just classic. Uh, the Toadstool Frog I actually considered. I would have named him Mario, uh, because of the Mario games. So that's one that I considered. And then, of course, the Virgo Horse, which I was super excited about. Um, the Wheaton Terrier Pup. I actually like this, like, all the detail on that face. I would have named her Michelle if I'd gotten one. See, I, like, name all of these before I get them. And, like, Obviously, I'm naming ones I didn't get. So, you know, I just, I see them and I'm like, well, that would be a good name for that pet. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so those are basically the ones that I considered and why. And the reason I didn't show my deliberation process was, again, because of time. Um, and so just more about what this video was and 
um, because I'm not sure I explained it well because I was talking so fast at the beginning of this video, is that my brother, um, let me back up. So, I haven't gotten on this account, my brother's account, in ages. Like, I got on it today slash yesterday, um, for Webkin's Day, and I got on it a few days ago, and I got this time capsule, and that's when I, when I got on the account, I don't even remember why I got on the account, but I got on the account, and I noticed that he had the 10,000 e-store points, which were a gift to us, I got 10,000, and he got 10,000, it was a gift from a family friend, and it must have been at least six years ago, um, so, and he just, he'd never spent his, and also, he's been off of Webkin so many years. Like, even when he got that last pet six and a half years ago, he wasn't into Webkin's anymore. I honestly don't remember why he got that pet. It's probably called I Got Him a Gift. Um, but yeah, he was never into Webkin's the same way I was. So he never really had that incentive to spend those points. So I got on this account and I realized, oh, he has these e store points. And so I decided, you know, now they sell pets in the W shop, which they didn't back in the day. I don't know when they added pets to the W shop, but it wasn't back when I was like main, like my main heyday in Webkins. And so I saw they have pets in the W shop and there are all these pets that cost 10,000. I'm like, well, that's cool. I can get one of these pets that cost 10,000, like the African Black Rhino or the Alley Cat, or if there's something that's on sale, that puts it below 10,000. So I was like, you know, that's cool. And I asked my brother and he's like, I don't care what you do with my account because he didn't want it anymore. Um, and so then after that, um, hold on. Yeah. So after that, there was like this announcement like a day or two ago that said that it would be a deluxe preview day on Webkin's Day and I still hadn't bought this pet. So I was like, oh! That actually, I think I realized this after midnight yesterday. So it was technically Webkin's Day when I realized this. And I'm like, oh, that means that with the sale I can get almost any of these online pets that cost 12500 as well. Um, and so I was just planning on getting one pet and I basically had any of these options. I could get one of these, which would, like, I could get the Alley Cat, which would have cost 8000 with the deluxe discount. Because everyone got this, like, deluxe trial on Webkin's Day. Or I could get this one for 10000 I would have used up all my points. And I didn't even real realize that there was a sale. And at some point, technically yesterday, at some point on Webkin's Day, um, I realized that they had all these pets for sale, and I'm like, oh my goodness. So I don't just have the option to get one pet for 10,000 that would ordinarily be 12,500 because of Deluxe. For example, this one, I could have gotten it for 10,000. But I have the option to get any of these sale pets for this sale price plus the discount. So I realized that and I'm like, okay. So, I went through and I chose the two that, I chose two. And I chose this one because I knew I wouldn't be getting it on my actual account because, you know, I've been wanting it for a while. Um, it is a shame because I never log on to this account. Like, I think before a few days ago, I can't remember the last time I got on my brother's account. Um, I don't know. Like... I, I logged on a few days ago, and I looked at his map, and I'm like, that looks pretty normal. But then I noticed there are a bunch of these Tommy's room. I'm like, okay. And then I look at this, and it's like, it's so, so weird. He just, like, extended the house with a bunch of random rooms, and I went through them, and they have, like, nothing in them. It's so weird. It's like a bunch of storage rooms. Um, yeah. So that just goes to show that I didn't know this existed for six and a half years. So I obviously haven't been on, uh, but anyway, so before my computer dies, I am going to just open some of this stuff. Um, take you along for the ride.
<laughs> I only laughed at that because I have one of those in my actual account. I have more than one of those and I can never figure out what to do with them. Oh, I should probably send that to my other account. <laughs> anyway. Now time for Chewy. Again, as long as my computer doesn't die. Which it probably will. And the computer is not loading. It's delightful. We love it when it does that, right? Super sticky sofa, that's pretty cool. Uh, more corn. That's kind of pretty cool, actually. And another one of those, which I might send to myself. Anyway, uh, for the sake of preserving my computer, I'm going to cut off this video here. And I'm super excited about this. I'm probably way too excited about this. Um, and that's all. Bye!